Good morning. I am so sorry I couldn't be with you yesterday. Um, I'm sure you're just sitting, uh, you, you kept checking your email and your uh, Facebook over and over again. <laughs> I'm sure it really threw your your uh, world upside down. Uh, nah, of course not. I, we know that. But um, I did miss uh, being with you yesterday. But uh, here we are together again. Today, today, is election day in America, and I'm gonna do something I never, 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 never do, um, except for today. So we'll have to change never, never to rarely ever. I'm gonna be political today, but uh, we're gonna look at um, why we should vote. Why, why as Christians should we um, take the time, go to uh, our our polling um, place, and uh, and cast our vote. So, um, just want to remind you that this Sunday, 6 p.m., we start our Sunday night prayer. We're going to do that the second and fourth Sundays of the month. This is the second Sunday of the month, uh, November 8th. So, 6 p.m., November 8th, we'll be together. We're going to pray. Um, you know, it's really going to be prayer. So um, we just hope you'll come and join us. We, we have so many things we need to be praying for. And with COVID, um, it's kind of messed up our, our uh, in-person prayer. Uh, going to try, going to try and get it together, even if I do it on my phone for a Facebook Live. Um, so if you aren't friends with me on Facebook, um, I suggest maybe you do that. And uh, that may be how we put it out on Sunday, but we're, we're going to work it out. We'll give some kind of announcement Sunday morning that if you can't be with us in person, you can still pray with us. And I think that's so important. We need to be praying together. I'm already thinking um, for the beginning of the year, we do a 21-day fast. I'm really uh, already kind of praying about and thinking about our 21-day fast for this year, for 2021. And, um, you know, just, just the power of, of our prayer and time with God. Um, so that's, uh, that's what's happening. Um, so I want to talk to you today about, um, I'm going to give you three reasons why Christians should vote. And listen, if you haven't gone, you need to go. Um, Lori and I, we were there at 6 a.m. this morning, um, and the line was around the building. Thank God we were inside, um, so we got to be warm, but um, all the way around the building, our, uh, it, it was a school and it goes around a um, little square, and, and we literally started where you go out of the voting area and from that gymnasium and had to go you know, wait all the way around. And uh, so people are showing up, they're voting, they're casting their votes. Um, whatever your political persuasion is, that's not what I'm going to get into here today. You're going to vote how you feel God is leading you to vote. And I want to talk to you just for a couple of moments on why that's important. So um, I'm going to give you three that um, I think are, uh, you know, relevant for us. Okay. And, and just, you know, Full disclosure, um, I found an article called My Faith Votes and uh, stealing their information, borrowing their information. Um, so uh, I agree with this. It's biblically based, and um, but I want to give credit where credit's due. Um, so um, number one, why should I as a Christian vote? Well, um, here's what they say, and I think it's such an important viewpoint. Political involvement. Voting demonstrates love for our neighbor, right? Matthew 22, it says this. It says, love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus is, is talking about, you know, if we love ourselves, then we're going to do what um, we would do for others, what we would do for ourselves. And here's the bottom line in this, right? Um, when we vote, we are participating in what laws are being made. And... Um, we have this we have this right that's given to us in our constitution that is not found in so many countries around the world that we get to influence the laws that are made in our so when when someone is not enacting laws that um reflect our christian values we can have that person removed by our vote. 
when someone's not behaving in a way that reflects Christian values, we have this opportunity to vote them in or out. And so who we vote for is a real um, is a real um, has real influence on what kind of laws are being made in our country. And so if we care about things like sanctity of life and religious freedom and marriage and family, um, if we care about the poor and how they're treated, if we care, care about how immigrants are treated, um, coming into all those kind of things, you can, you can add whatever you want to that list, then we have to vote those values. And we have to vote whatever whatever your political leanings are, okay? You have to vote those values. Um, and you have to vote for folks that either reflect those values or vote out people that don't. That's a right that we're given here in America. So if we love our neighbor, then we're gonna vote. We're gonna we're gonna know what those candidates stand for, and we're gonna vote um, accordingly. Now, this one might surprise you, but political, I, 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 again, not my, but I, I agree with this, political involvement demonstrates a reverence for God. Now, here's why. In Romans 13, it says there's no authority except that which God has established. And so sometimes we just go, oh, you know, God's going to put who God wants in there. But um, as Americans, we have this unique opportunity to influence our laws, right? And it means we got to bring our biblical worldview to, to the public square. Um, and if we remove ourselves from politics, then we open the door for, for morality to, to be um, removed from our, uh, from our discourse and, and from government. And so it's important for us that if we, um, if we care about godly values, then the right we have, and we believe that to be God-given, if we believe that to be God-given, then we also, right, God, God has placed our, our um, form of government in place. That means that we should reverence God by honoring the system that's in place and voting. Because it's a, a right that's given to us, God given to us. We believe that. We say that, but then we don't exercise um, our rights to vote. We should exercise our right to vote. And, and, and to me, that's a sign of our we're, we're giving glory to God by voting. I hope that makes sense. I'm not sure if I said that. But we honor what God has put in place for us. Um by voting, okay? Thirdly, um, it shows that we respect, when we vote, it shows that we respect the Bible. Now follow the stop process here. Um, Second Timothy tells us that all scripture is breathed by God, and here's what it does. It's profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, that the man of God or the woman of God may be complete equipped, you ready, for every good work. Now, every good work means that, you know, when we vote, we're doing a good thing. We're voting our conscience. We're voting our morality. We're voting godly principles. Those are good things. Those are good works. So why would we abdicate using our vote? Our vote is literally a voice in the process of what's happening around us, right? So we become, when we vote, we become a source of good in our communities and ultimately in our nation. So um, Galatians chapter 6, verse 10 um, captures this idea and it says this, Therefore, as we have the opportunity, let us do good to all people. You and I have this ability to vote. And we exercise this ability to vote that that the governing of our of our um, of our democracy affects everybody. So if if I believe in the sanctity of life, and maybe you don't, okay, so maybe you have a different view of that, but I'm just using this as a as a, a barometer. If I then I'm going to vote according to that. 
Now that may not be the only that may not be the only thing you vote for. Maybe you say, okay, that's part of it, but there's also um, um, anti-human trafficking. There's also religious freedoms. Is is the government going to intrude um, on our religious rights? Who who are the candidates that value religious freedom or want to? Diminish religious freedom. These are all things, and that, and that includes all religions. Maybe you say, you know, we're a nation that's under God, but at the same time, we respect. You see what I'm saying? It's it's, it's multi layered. It's multifaceted. You and I need to pray. We need to ask God who most reflects our values, and then we need to vote for that. So I want to encourage you today to vote. I I, I want to conclude my thoughts here. Um, I tweeted this out from. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, he said this, he said, no one, or excuse me, nobody will ever deprive the American people of the right to vote, except the American people themselves, and the only way they could do this is by not voting. If we don't cast our vote, someone else, someone else's voice is going to be louder than ours. So I want to encourage you today. I believe our right to vote here in America is God-given and we honor God when we vote. So I want to encourage you, even if you got to stand outside in the cold for a while, there are people all around the world who would gladly stand out in the cold to be able to have a voice in their government and who leads them. Today, you have that power. And it's given to us, I believe, it's been given to us by God. And we honor God when we exercise our right to vote. Go out and vote. That's as political as I get right there. Go out and vote. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this democracy, the United States of America, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Lord, I pray that we would go exercise our right to vote, exercise our right to, to cast our voice and to be heard. And Lord, I pray that the church of America would be heard. I pray that godly men and women would be put in places of authority so that godly values continue to govern and guide this nation. So Lord, I, I ask that you'd give wisdom to those that are going to vote. I pray that we would hear what the Spirit's saying and that we would respond to it. I ask this in the name of Jesus for your glory. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for those of you who voted and for those who are going to go out and exercise your civic duty and vote today. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for a couple minutes of your time.